the idea um, of the slow core that everybody's been talking about needs to be so supported by uh, a, a transport, a series of transport ideas really. Um, and part of it being slow is to focus on cycling and pedestrian use. So in order to s focus on cycling and pedestrian use, you need to keep the level of intrusion by cars and their speed down to some degree and encourage people to come to the central city by other means. And that encouragement is, you know, it has to take in lots of different forms. You have to have, you have, to have things that they want to go and visit to start with. Um, but you also need to have a public transport system that is convenient, it's frequent enough, it's cheap enough, it's popular by design, it's fashionable. The council and ECAN were part way along this already and we've, we're only encouraging them to go further really and so uh, there's a transport interchange and a perimeter loop around the slow core for buses um, ECAN are proposing a hub and spoke model for the bus routing uh, from outside the city which is going to affect, uh, for, in, in a beneficial way, both the number of people on buses and the uh, frequency of service out to the suburban spokes. And I think probably the, uh, the one of the final factors that could really make this work would be if the service in its physical manifestation, the buses themselves and the way that the interaction with machinery and the routes works is really redesigned to make it a world class thing and so that's a, an industrial design exercise um, that needs to have a relatively high priority um, but I think it still needs to be buses because they're flexible and you can change their routes if, if things change over time.